on the, when a Valerie collapses on the floor of the cabin in the midst of all the dancing and smoking of hashish and well Ron of the compassionate owner carries Valerie upstairs uh, Valerie feels like she's dying Harry comes up to sits on the floor and uh, he goes off all about uh, a recent nightmare he's had. Uh, his absolute self-centeredness infuriates Eddie to the point that he invites Al, uh, Valerie to partner with him in the dormitory. Oh. Yeah. And... Uh, Eddie, and now, with this mysterious young French chick constantly by his side, huh? they make a grand splash all around Katmandu. And uh, Eddie remembers, uh, seeing Valerie with me, everybody uh, seems to conclude that we are lovers. Uh, and, and Joe, Tibet and Joe, he doesn't honor me anymore. I'm not Mr. Buddha anymore uh, to anybody. And, the next time Eddie has to go to extend his visa, the chief of immigration, a uh, slime buckets him. Uh, you are a great disappointment to me. Uh, we believed you to be a kind of a holy man. But now see what you truly are. You see, Mr. Eddie, I mean, uh, to, to what state your life has fallen uh yeah and all the medicine in the world it's not going to help you uh yeah uh your days of merrymaking surely coming to an end yeah <laughs> all this slime bucketing for a 21 day extension <laughs> well harry moves in two doors uh, away so he can peek through uh, the cracks I mean all the rooms had cracks you can almost put your hand through the cracks in all of these cracks because uh, he look, likes to look through the paneling you know into the walls and uh, this is like warped hero worship because it, uh, Harry is proud that Valerie is with Eddie in the cabin, he brings, look, that woman over there. She's my mom. Well, during pillow talk in their room, Valerie, uh, uh, remember, and this is to Eddie about uh, better days with Harry. I mean, the LSD, lovely, yeah, the lake. Oh, yeah, I'm talking Pokhara, the lake. Those big banyan trees with the roots going right down into the sandy shoreline. The Hanapurna peaks sparkling vibrating with amazing color. Harry, well, he was just like a saint. I mean, with a halo around his head. Uh, I was breathlessly joyful, you know. Mm -hmm. That was the first acid trip on the lake, huh? But the second one, ooh, the following day, huh? Harry pushes Valerie in off the rowboat into Pokero Lake. She's tripping. She doesn't know how to swim. He laughs at her helplessness and panic and terror. And back on land, uh, Valerie becomes hysterical. Well, to calm her down, Harry punches her in the face. <clears throat> this unlikely... Uh, partnership between French Valerie and Eddie just goes on and on year after year for many years and uh, Valerie became uh, Eddie's uh, essential Shakti female energy partner one of the few in his life uh, it was Gwen and now her uh so they split Katmandu down to this houseboat scene, and uh, <laughs> here comes Harry and other camp followers. 
shadowing them. Yeah, uh, in Benares. <sighs> yeah, on the sacred Ganges River. Harry steals rupees from Valerie's purse. Mm. And afterwards, he pleads to Eddie, Believe me, I am innocent of the theft. <laughs> Eddie responds, I'm not into believing. Yeah, okay. Eddie passes, uh, Harry passes, <laughs> paces back and forth on the roof of the houseboat, uh, shouting uh, obscenities to the passing Indians or, or coming to the river for puja. Oops. Well, Valerie snuggles even closer to Eddie. Yeah, well, uh, shares an insight, Eddie. You know, again and again, I make the same mistake of choosing immature, young, handsome, yeah, but immature boys rather than a mature and understanding man. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um, we're going to talk about Eddie's world-famous porch. Chapter 25, Eight Finger Eddie, 1970, 71, winter season. It's 46, fifth season in Goa, and uh, he's mastered the art of hanging out and having fun. You saw that picture of me having fun in front of the porch. Remember? I used the mirror trick. The same mirror trick that makes you think you're a separate individual. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. If you've always clipped the hairs in your noses in front of a mirror... You've been always doing it backwards your whole life, but you've never known that because you only do that when you have a mirror and you only exist when you... you can read some Ken Wilbur. Grow up, everybody. You don't have to be a Buddhist or anything. Just kind of like... Uh... Well, all right. Eddie returns whew, to his home on Anjuna Beach. Mm hmm. You know that nice crash pad, uh, five five rooms, uh, the first house to be rented on Anjuna Beach. Oh yeah, he comes home, and uh, what? Sherry says that only Eddie and well, okay, Valerie uh, are welcome to stay. The rest of his gang, uh, uh, not welcome. Uh, you know. They've had the baby, Michael. They don't want those, like, uh, syringes around. You know, those razor blades. You cut the morpheles, uh, mor uh, ampules of pure morphine off with a razor blade. Yeah, you don't want those lying around. I mean, she's just giving natural childbirth right here to a baby boy. And uh, no razor blades around her kids. Hmm. 